Hi friends, I'm outside and I'm going to read a book about what makes a shadow and it's by Clyde Robert Bulla. I'm going to read the pages and then I'll show the pictures. The sun is shining, it shines on the trees and the sidewalk. It shines on your house and it shines on you too. When the sun is in front of you, look behind you. You can see your shadow. When you move, your shadow moves. When you run, your shadow runs. But you can never catch it. What makes the shadow? Where does it come from? The sun is very bright. It shines on the house. It shines on the trees. It shines on you, but the sun does not shine through you. There is a dark place behind where the sun does not shine. The darkness is your shadow. Look for more shadows. A tree has a shadow. The shade of the tree is the shadow of the tree. A house has a shadow. The sun shines on one side of the house. There's a shadow on the other side. Animals have shadows. So do cars. Airplanes have shadows. Watch an airplane as it flies over your head. You may see the shadow on the ground and a cloud has a shadow. Sometimes the, sun, the sky is dark with clouds. The sun cannot shine through them. The shadows of the clouds fall on the earth. The shadows make the day dark. We say this is a cloudy day. Some shadows are darker than others. If you hold a handkerchief so that the sun shines on it, the handkerchief makes a shadow on the ground. The shadow is not dark because some of the sunlight shines through. Hold a book to, so the sun shines on it. The book makes a shadow on the ground. It makes a dark shadow because no sunlight shines through. Watch the sun go down. Watch the night come. Night is a shadow. The sun shines on the earth. The other side is in shadow. The shadow makes the night. Inside the house at night, you can do more shadows. Hold your hand between a lamp and the wall and you will see the shadow of your hand on the wall. Do you know how to make a big shadow? Hold your hand close to the lamp. The shadow is big because your hand shuts out most of the light. This makes more darkness on the wall. Move your hand away from the light. Move it further and further away. Now the shadow on the wall gets smaller and smaller and smaller. It is smaller because your hand does not shut out so much light. There is less darkness on the wall. You can have fun with shadows. There are other picture, shadow pictures you can make. Here are some. So look for shadows and how many can you find? Can you discover what makes a shadow? So on a sunny day, go outside and see how many different shadows you can find. And next I'm going to be doing a little activity where you find a shadow and you're going to do something with the shadow. It's a lot of fun. All right. Now we are going to be tracing a shadow.
So we need an object or a subject, and Henry is going to be the subject. He's going to stand still like a statue, and I am going to use a piece of chalk, and I am going to trace the outline of his shadow. So now that I have traced the outline of the shadow, now I'm going to fill it in with different colored chalk. Okay, so if you wanted to add more details, you could add some different designs on his shirt, and you can add some facial features on his head. You can add some shoes. You could do whatever you want. Have fun. As I always say, use your artistic license and see what you come up with. So another thing you can do is you can add an object to your chalk drawing of the shadow that you already traced and you can add to it. So I've added this yellow bucket and I've already colored it in, but that's another example you can continue adding and putting different objects in. All right, so now I'm going to trace the outline of this bike. Okay, so that's another example of tracing a shadow. This time I used a bike. You can use any object that you want. It could be, these are kind of big, the two that I used. So you could make smaller, take smaller objects and trace those. And again, have a lot of fun with it. And I can't wait to see how they turn out. All right, bye.